He will swallow up death, up death forever, and the Lord God will await tears from all faces. These words of the prophet Isaiah contain the promise which was St. Alphonse of the Immaculate Conception. Sister Alphonse was called Santa Indiana by the Hall of Vatican as the Saint of India. Saint Alphonse, a Clarist nun, was beatified on the 8th of February 1986 by His Holiness the Pope at Corteum, India. She was canonized in Rome on the 12th of October 2008, within 62 years of her death. I am surprised to see the, the normal bulk of the muscle, which is uh, remaining paralyzed the first time I saw the child. There is no scar, nothing. It has become a straight foot without any surgical procedure, without the help of medical science, without the help of doctors. When the extraordinarily beautiful Anna Kuti turned 13, there was a flood of marriage proposals. However, she desired ardently for a religious life, so as to become a saint like St. Therese of Liso. On the day of her betrothal, she stepped into a burning ash pit, intending to disfigure herself slightly, but her feet sank deep into the pit and both her legs got burnt badly. This put an end to all marriage negotiations. She was now free to choose a religious life. She received the postulant's veil in 1928 and accepted the name Alfonsa in honor of Saint Alphonsus Liguri and proceeded to Changanasheri for higher studies. After becoming a nun, she worked as a teacher for a year at Vakkakar. Sister Alfonsa loved children and narrated stories reinforcing the importance of prayer and respect for elders and teachers. Saint Alfonsa passed away in the Order of Sanctity on the 28th of July 1946 at the age of 36. Far from considering suffering to be an evil to be avoided at all costs, Alfonso found in them an effective means of satisfaction, underlying the message of love, hope and faith. Her heroic virtues of patience, fortitude and perseverance in the midst of deep suffering remind us that God always provides the strength we need to overcome every trial 